In tonight's news, rewards of $1 million each are offered for information leading to the arrest of five more national security fugitives. Consumers are warned of the high sodium, fats and sugar content in Chinese sausages. And taxi drivers who collect 15 demerit points within two years face suspension. Police have offered a reward of $1 million each for the arrest of five more national security fugitives. Simon Zhang, Hui Wingting, Joey Siu, Fok Ka Chi, and Choi Ming Da are accused of inciting secession and collusion with foreign forces. Four more people were arrested in Hong Kong on suspicion of providing fugitives Naven Law and Ted Ho with funds amounting from $10,000 to $120,000 through an online platform. Police vowed to crack down on any action that harms national safety. We pay particular attention to the essence of the wanted person and try to break their change of financing by all means so as to suppress them from continuing activities and endangering national security. In July, police offered rewards of $1 million each for information leading to the arrest of eight other opposition figures, including Ted Ho and Nathan Law. Chinese sausages sold locally have been found to have a high sodium, fat, and sugar content, according to the Consumer Council. 16 prepackaged sausages and 14 sausages sold loosely were tested, and all exceeded the Center for Food Safety's high sodium benchmark by one to two times. All but one brand were high in fats, including eight that claimed to be lean. Only five samples did not have a high sugar content. But as Chinese sausages are popular during winter, a consumer watchdog gave some tips on reducing the sodium, sugar and fat intake. Sugar and also sodium uh, can be dissolved in water, so if you can soak it and wash it a little bit, uh, it can also help to reduce a little bit of the content. After you steam it, uh, please, you know, just get rid of the extra fat, you know, uh, retaining you know, together with the steam water. Uh, in the past, you know, people probably, you know, will mix it with rice to eat it because it's so tasty. But uh, this time, you know, probably will advise you, you know, you have to let go um, the extra fat coming out from the sausage because of uh, the steaming. The council also found discrepancies between nutrition labels and the actual content. Taking Daisen dried seafood's Chinese sausage as an example, the actual total fat and saturated fat content exceeded the claim on the label by over 40 percent. The watchdog said inaccurate nutritional information undermines consumers' rights and urged manufacturers to address the discrepancies. Lazy Mock, Cable News. From tomorrow, people will need a permit to carry regulated items such as shark's fin and American ginseng in and out of Hong Kong. The new law is part of a move by the Agricultural, Fisheries and Conservation Department to combat the smuggling of endangered animal and plant species. In the first 11 months, the Customs Department cracked down on over 700 smuggling cases involving endangered species, a 30% increase compared with last year. The plants and animals that were confiscated were worth $80 million. We are working closely with the Hong Kong Customs and uh, Department on this aspect. When we have any uh, concerns, we will seek some advice from relevant departments such as the DOJ. People convicted of trading in endangered species face a maximum penalty of $10 million and up to 10 years in jail. Lawmakers have approved a penalty system for taxi drivers, with 68 of them voting in favor of a bill in the Legislative Council today. 
13 legislators abstained and three opposed the bill. Taxi drivers who committed offenses such as refusing to issue receipts, overcharging or taking detours will get between 3 and 10 demerit points. Those who collect 15 demerit points within two years will be disqualified from driving a taxi for three months, while repeat offenders face a six-month ban. Those with 10 points have to take an improvement course at their own expense. As I often tell government officials, it is pointless just to have decoy operations. You don't have sufficient manpower to handle all these cases. That is why we need the monitoring system installed in taxi compartments round the clock. Doreen Kong was one of three lawmakers who rejected the bill. The government did not explain how to collect evidence to prove that the taxi driver makes the tours and how to address the issues of one word against the others. Transport sector lawmaker Frankie Yick, who also opposed the demerit point system, said it may prompt taxi drivers to quit and turn to providing illegal ride-hailing services using their own cars. The point system will be implemented in nine months. Maisie Mock, Cable News. The few functioning hospitals in Gaza are struggling to treat the growing number of Palestinian civilians wounded by Israeli bombings. The death toll is approaching 19,000, with 51,000 injured as Israel retaliated for a deadly Hamas raid in October. As the hostilities continued, the Israeli ambassador to Britain ruled out a two-state solution, which the United States says is the answer to peace. Heavy winter rain has added to the misery of Palestinians in Gaza, who also face starvation and disease. A fresh row has erupted between U.S. Republicans and Democrats after the House of Representatives voted narrowly on party lines to formally open an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. The Republicans claim that he and his family received money from sources in China, Russia and Ukraine when he was vice president. Biden described the allegations as lies. By formally opening a probe, Biden's rivals say the White House will have to cooperate. We've spent months in this investigation accumulating evidence. Uh, we have a simple question that I think a overwhelming majority of Americans have. What did the Bidens do to receive the tens of millions of dollars from our enemies around the world? The problem with this investigation is not that they don't have documents and materials. The problem they have with this investigation is that all of those documents, materials, and transcripts of testimony show no evidence of any wrongdoing by President Joe Biden. Major Hong Kong banks have kept their prime lending rates unchanged, bringing relief to home buyers and borrowers. The decision came after the Monetary Authority maintained its key interest rate at 5.7 percent as the U.S. Federal Reserve continued its hike pause in the wake of a slight dip in inflation. Financial markets welcomed the move amid signs that the rate hike cycle is ending although the Fed remains cautious. I have always felt since the beginning uh, that there was a possibility because of the unusual situation that the economy could cool off uh, in a way that enabled inflation to come down without the kind of large job losses that have often been associated with high inflation and tightening cycles. So far, that's what we're seeing. That's what many forecasters on and off the committee are seeing. This result is not guaranteed. It is, it is uh, far too early to declare victory.
The popular Temple Street night market is expected to become more attractive from tomorrow with the addition of food stalls. 20 stalls, offering international and traditional snacks, will join the Tourism Board's Night Vibes campaign. They will operate between Nankin Road and Jordan Road. Participating stalls are mostly outlets of nearby shops, including this traditional sweet store. The owner of a kebab restaurant is confident that food stalls will attract locals and tourists. It's the heart of the Hong Kong Temple Street and Tim Sai Chai. Hong Kong is very famous and fine and tiny, nice people with. So many tourists will be coming there.